Grade 3, welcome to my class. I am Teacher Maricar of Angeles Elementary School, your math teacher. This time, we will learn another lesson in mathematics. how to visualize numbers up to 10,000 with emphasis on numbers 1,001 to 10,000. Our first lesson in math is all about visualizing numbers up to 10,000. Counting many items or objects can be easier by grouping them into thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. Different ways can be used to visualize and represent these numbers. Let's look at this example. In a warehouse of grocery items, boxes of different sizes are piled together. Some are big boxes, medium boxes, small boxes, and very small boxes. Inside these boxes are items grouped by thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. Since these items are already in boxes, we can immediately determine the number of goods contained in the boxes. There are two thousands, four hundreds, five tens, and eight ones. If we put together all these values, we can say that there are a total of 2,458 grocery items in the warehouse. To illustrate and visualize numbers with bigger values, we can use squares, longs, flats, and blocks. One square is equal to one. If we put 10 squares together, we can form one long which is equal to 10. If we put 10 longs together, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, we can form one flat which is equal to 100. Then, if we put 10 flats together, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, we can form one block which is equal to 1,000. If we count all the squares in this block, there are 1,000 squares. But if we count them one by one, it would take so much time the reason why we need representation to make the counting easier. Let us try this example on the table. How many blocks do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 blocks is equal to 4,000. How many flats do we have? 1, 2, 3. 3 flats is equal to 300. How many longs do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 longs is equal to 60. And how many squares do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 squares which is equal to 7. If we put together all these values, we can have 4,367. Let us try another example. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 blocks, which is 5,000. We have another 2 flats, which is equal to 200. We have 8 longs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is equal to 80. And we have 5 squares, 1, 2, 
3, 4, 5, which is equal to 5. So if we put together all these values, what will we get? Very good. We will have 5,285. This time, it's your turn to give me the number represented by the given squares, longs, flats, and blocks. So how many do we get? Very good. We have 534. Next, how many do we have in all? Very good. We have 862. How about the next one? Very good. We have 3,653. Next. Very good. We have 5,376. How about the last one? Okay. We have 8,238. Aside from blocks, flats, longs, and squares, we can also use number disk to represent and visualize numbers. We have a disk for thousand, for hundreds, tens, and ones. Let us try this example. How many thousands do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six thousands meaning we have 6,000. How many 400s? We have 4 means 400s. How many 10s do we have? We have 6 10s meaning 60. How many 1s do we have? We have 7 1s which is equal to 7. If we add all these values, we will get 6,467. Let us try this example. How many thousands do we have? Very good. We have four thousands. How many hundreds do we have? We have two hundreds. How many tens do we have? We have five tens. How many ones do we have? We have three ones. So how many in all do we have? Very good. We have 4,252. Let's try this example. How many thousands do we have? One, two, three, four, five. So that's 5,000. How many hundreds do we have? One, two, three. That's 300. How many tens do we have? 1, 2. That's 20. And how many ones do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So that's 5. If we put all together these values, we will have 5,325. This time, it's your turn. Try to identify the number represented by the given number disk. Very good. You have 6,234. Let's try another. Very good. You have 7,424. Let us try the last example.
very good. We have a total of 5,845. Always remember that counting many objects can be made easy by grouping them into thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. We can visualize numbers using representation like blocks, flats, longs, squares, and number disks. We can also use leads, tables, and other things in visualization of numbers. That's all for today. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching!